Um, so what originally brought me to the Healing Sanctuary was I have very severe endometriosis that I've dealt with my entire life, um, ever since I was a really, really young teenager, and I was in a lot of pain. Um, and it had gotten to the point, I'd been to several specialists, and I, I was, it was starting to get into my personal life, my professional life, and creating a lot of issues. And so um, I needed to find a new doctor. I'd been to several specialists, and I was really frustrated that I didn't feel like people were listening to me. Um, and I would reached out to my little sister, and she said, you know, I found a great doctor recently, and um, his name is Dr. Baker. And she said, and I know you'll love him for two reasons. One, he listens, and two, you're going to love him because he gives you the options of being able to do uh, more natural medicine, or you can choose whatever path you like, and that he lets you pick, though. And so for me, I was like, all right, I'll give him a shot. Um, and so that's how I ended up at the Healing Sanctuary. The crazy part was is that the treatments that I ended up getting were not what I initially planned on. So I originally came in, like I uh, said, for my endometriosis, and Dr. Baker ended up doing a laparoscopic surgery and just checking on my uterus and my ovaries, just seeing if they were healthy, and um, of course he came, went in and found a lot of um, tissue and issues that go along with endometriosis. So he cleaned everything up and just said, you know, you've got a few options, you're super young, um, hysterectomy is not a great option, but uh, let's look at some natural routes. And I said, all right, well, I'm actually interested in a hysterectomy because I'm, I'm down with the pain and I'm over it. And uh, he's like, why don't we wait a little bit? And so I went home, I thought about it for a while, and I said, oh, we'll give it one more year. Well, then a miracle happened and I got pregnant. So my husband and I have been married for 14 years and we have had um, 13 miscarriages. And um, we can get pregnant, we just can't stay pregnant past the eight week mark. And so when my pregnancy test came up, I was super nervous and really scared because I didn't want it to be like all the others. So we hurried and called Dr. Baker and we made an appointment and we went in and we were trying not to get our hopes up, but um, COVID had just hit. We went into Dr. Baker and I was on the verge of tears and he said, we're gonna do absolutely everything to try and get you this baby. He said, we're gonna pull out all the stops. And um, I said, okay, but what do you think? And he said, well, we're gonna go both routes. We're gonna go both Eastern and Western medicine and um, we're gonna first start doing different progesterone and then we're gonna do um, shots that will thin out your blood a little bit. And then he said, what I really want to do though, cause I, I'd done most of those treatments with somebody else was, I really want to start doing some blood therapy. Um, I want to do some blood ozone. And I was like, okay, well, what is this? And he said, it's where we take your blood out and we um, take it and put it through a UV light and then it cleans it and then it goes back into your body and so that it's able to help fight any you know, toxins or challenges that you have within your body. And at that point in time, I would try anything. And so I said, let's do it. And he said, let's get really aggressive with the treatment. And so I actually came three times a week uh, for my first trimester and then my second trimester I came twice a week coupled with the other medicine that I was taking and um, did the therapy. On top of that we also did the vitamin packs to keep my energy levels up and just to make sure that I was as healthy as could be and um, that is when we got our little miracle. So I actually have a six week old baby right now as we speak. Um, so let's, I'd love to show her to you. Honey, will you bring up Leviah? Leviah and Long. What was absolutely amazing was um, my last pregnancies, I would always get a little bit nauseous, start to get a little bit sick, and I noticed that that was happening again. 
and I puked a couple times and then I got really just exhausted and the cool part was is as I started the therapy um, the nausea went 100% away no more puking I puked twice my entire pregnancy um, and then the exhaustion that I had felt before was 100% gone um, on top of that my workload had doubled because of what was going on with COVID and I've never felt better in my life so I almost felt bad when people would ask you know how's your pregnancy going are you so tired I'm like no I've never actually felt better in my entire life um, so I have felt absolutely 100% amazing. If someone had the same condition as me, um, as the endometriosis and the infertility and pregnancy, all of the above, I would 100% recommend the Healing Sanctuary. Um, the staff is absolutely amazing. They're so kind and loving and um, like a little mini family. We brought her in today and had a massive celebration. Um, the options that Dr. Baker gives and letting you as the patient, one, express your challenges and concerns and him actually listening and then giving you options and then just the entire experience. And of course, being able to, to find issues to concerns that you have and that you've never been able to and that specialists have looked at for years and that pretty much just said, just deal with the issue because it's never going to go away. So I would definitely um, recommend it. My personal experience with Dr. Baker is I love how genuine he is. I love how he cares about you as a person. Um, one of my favorite memories that I'll have about my pregnancy was when we made it past the first trimester and Dr. Baker gave me the biggest hug and said, we're going to make it. This baby's going to make it. And he said, there will be never be an experience like when you get to hold that baby on your chest. And he gave me the biggest hug and I cried and he cried. And then all the way through the pregnancy, how he supported me and cared and just really wanted to make sure that I felt as comfortable as possible. And that he made sure that I was one of his top priorities. Um, I also appreciated that when it came time to actually have the baby, um, I've been dreaming about having a baby for 14 years and everything that I wanted through the labor and delivery and through just what was important to me, he really took that into consideration. Um, and then of course in my follow-up care, he cares just as much and was so excited to see her and just have that connection and he truly is in our lives a miracle and he's our hero. I love Dr. Baker and he means the world to our family and I'm so thankful for him. If you're thinking about um, trying some alternative treatments or whether or not you should go with the Healing Sanctuary, uh, I know not everybody's experiences are the same, but it's worth a shot and it's worth a try because definitely um, going there for months on end, having the various treatments, I truly saw miracles happen. And so I hope you get the same, some of the same experiences that I have and you find, find the healing that you're looking for. Hey.